Hey guys, thank you for checking out LaFontaine Classic Cars YouTube. My name is Mackenzie. This is our 56 Pontiac Chief that I'm gonna be telling you more about. We're gonna hit the streets, go for a drive. But if you're new here, we're a channel where we review and go through our new inventory. So this is hot off the press. We know where this car has been for a lot of years. Don't hesitate to ask us about it. All right, so we've taken a couple turns, a couple start stops. This thing is just warming up to temp and it has been absolutely a dream. Feels great and I keep finding new features of this thing that are really cool, honestly. Um, one of those, we'll cut to a shot. The Speedo has a little red line that follows it as it builds up. So you don't have a needle actually pointing to your speed. You have a line that builds up like a loading bar and it's pretty dang cool. Now, some other cool things about this car. All of our gauges are working really spectacularly. Um, I got our blower motor, works wonderfully. Our cigarette lighter, we're gonna put that to the test now. Yeah, boy. All right, this thing's chugging smooth. Had one of our vent pulls open, getting us some, uh, some extra wind noise in here. This car, if I could uh, describe it in two words, not one, it'd be American Graffiti. I think that's what I feel when I drive this. We got some subtle tints, nice rumbling exhaust, the torque thrust wheels, and it's just straight, sounds good. Now we're gonna give her a bit of giddy up. <laughs> torquey, torquey. We're gonna cover some of the details and the finer finishes and try to get you a good idea of this car's condition. As some of you watching might be interested in owning this car. This bumper is very intricate. There's a lot of chrome. There's, you know, such pointy parts you could get cut on the front of this thing. These little missile cones up here, slick. Um, I'd say that the chrome work is 10 out of 10. It's incredibly bright. I don't see any aging, no cracking, and it doesn't look like this has made contact with another car, scuffed something throughout all its time on the road. Um, up front, got a gorgeous set of headlights, uh, some type of plane here, uh, this looks like a B-52. I like these in the hood, when you've seen that before. And just under here. Oh yeah. So I think the idea here was Pontiac's thing was a little bit more of a classed up car. Um, I did that in a few ways, but unique to this is a 317 cubic inch or 316 and a half cubic inch V8. This has got a lot, a lot of torque. I think it's about 300 foot pounds. This thing's equipped with power steering, makes a wonderful grumble out the back. A detail I really liked they did from the factory was this Nice polished aluminum inlay right into the valve covers. K-Tech sells a set of valve covers for your brand new Z06 Corvette that honestly emulate that. And it's slicker than a snicker. Data plate up on the firewall, looks mint and factory. We love, love this color black. Now you see in the front, I haven't missed a detail. Our black paint's all polished up. We had both the Bazinga horns looking good. And a new Delco battery up under there. Closes up very well, um, T3 headlight in case you were wondering. And now, I wanna talk a little bit about this black paint. This is a big car, uh, there's no question about that. It has a lot of big rolling body lines. The paint is super, super deep. I don't see swirls or scratches in it. Someone's really corrected the hell out of this. Um, and it pops, and you put that with a little bit of chrome, and a torque thrust like this, and you got a really hot car. Check out, you got a BFG Radial TA wrapped on a 15 inch torque thrust. So American Racing makes the wheel, they're polished up, looking good, down to the lug nuts that match. How about that? And if you were wondering, this is a 235-70 R15, and once more, this is a radial tire, uh, drives like a dream. I think it's a great choice on this car. Door gap, door fitment, we love it. Nothing more to say there. It's right on point. It's maybe better than it was new. 
The glass in this car is big and sweeping and it's in great shape. Really, really presents itself well. I like the extra trim this has. We recognize this from the hood up front. They just elegantly dropped it in on the back. Got a slick bumper and a gorgeous set of oval stainless tips. Look at these bad boys. They're chrome plated as well, just like the rest of this. We're gonna take a look inside the trunk now. Ooh, smooth. All right, not an inch has been missed. Uh, very good detail up on the underside of the trunk. Still have sound deadening in there, keeping road noise down. Latch looks good, our hardware looks nice, seal looks very good. This is great. And come take a look down here. It's very presentable. Carpet's clean. We got all the goodies we need in case we're ever stuck on the side of the road. We got a full size spare, got a jack, a lug wrench. This is a clean car. And lots of room to, to do whatever you like in here. You put lawn chairs, picnic baskets, the list goes on. Very good. Wow. There is so much neat trim, um, shapes, styling of bumpers, taillights, headlights. Comment below your favorite thing about this car, if you wouldn't mind. And I want to show you one of mine that I think is super badass. And you saw these on the Chevys too. This little drip rail. How gangster is that? Not going to get a drop of water on you when you get out of this thing. Look how that closes up. Whew working good but yeah like i said drop us a comment say what's cool about this car because we're trying to pin just one thing down because it has so much cool going on oh yeah oh yeah all right door cars are meant these look great fastened down securely in all four corners they had a couple of window cranks i like these little quarter windows those have good function especially when you're cruising down the road um, our bench seat, beautiful pattern. I like the tops being white. This is cool, very slick. The steering wheel, is, it's huge, it's huge. I noticed that when I'm driving it, but it's very comfortable. It's got power steering right in the center. It's cool, this, uh, this area of car, they were so proud of all these features and functions and wanted to let you know what you were getting. And we've just kind of gotten so used to it now. But one thing you're not used to now, uh, park, neutral, drive, low, reverse. That always cracks me up. Reverse is all the way at the other end instead of just below park. Um, you see we got a battery meter, battery gauge showing us our voltage, our water temp, our blower motor controls right in the middle of this. Like you're gonna reach around and hit this. Uh, they've figured out that wasn't the best spot for it, but rather neat. Speedo going up to 120. We have some type of magnifying glass lens showing us our odometer in there. I've never seen that before. And you come on over one more side here, and we've got almost an arcade game where we're playing slot machines here, lining up all our dials and what they mean, and might as well throw in a clear lens and a needle too, because we got a lot of them. Um, fuel gauge and oil pressure, that's gonna be sweet. Now what is behind door number one? All right, there's little details in here. Great looking hardware. Nice finish inside the box. The Strato Streak Pontiac. Fabulous, I agree. Um, this is pretty cool. And this looks like it can fold out to be quite the magazine here. This is included with this baby. I'm not sure how old this is, but it feels very old and it looks to be in really good shape. It's probably from 56. How about that? Original dealer literature included with the Chieftain. Hell yeah, the light works. Well, one more over. I think we're gonna have an ashtray right here. Let's go hand in hand. Speaker, slick design. You do have a, a good sized tunnel in this car. I believe this is kind of in that early era of three speed transmissions. This is taking up a, a good bit of space, but you can make a nice little console out of that if you'd like. Headliner, showing a little bit of its age, but 
It's the right material. It looks good. It's holding taut. Rear seat. This is a nice little nook. That looks very cozy to me. Seat belts are all new, looking wonderful. The package tray looks great. This panoramic glass. It's clear as day. It looks awesome. This car's got a lot of good going. Now before we go, I got a few things to share if you're interested in knowing more about this car. I'm gonna put a link down at the bottom of this video. It'll be in the description there. You can check out our full listing on this 56 Chieftain. It's gonna have a bunch of pictures. It's gonna show you the undersides. Hell, there'll be a whole write-up telling you more about it. If you wanna call, feel free to do so at any time. It's 248-714-2110. Lastly, while you're down here clicking around, like and subscribe. This is a new arrival. We got them coming in almost every day. If you get on our program, it's gonna get you in front of them first because sometimes they go really quick. Thank you guys, we'll see you.